if you're looking for the best teleprompter app, look no further. Ha <laughs> ha I have a little secret no one wants you to know. And guess what? Stick around and I will share it with you right now. All right, so I tried different paid apps. Uh, the best one I found is called Prompt Smart. Probably you came across it if you are looking for teleprompters. And it does work pretty well, but for me, it wasn't that great. Uh, there were a few things that I didn't like about it uh, because, you know, it has an audio recognition. So basically it would scroll up and then when you stop speaking or you go out of subject, whatever it is that it doesn't say there, it stops and then you can go back and continue, which is pretty cool. The problem with me is that it didn't work. Yes, apparently it didn't like my accent. Wait, do I have an accent? Hmm. Well, I guess I do. And if you know where is my accent coming from, uh, put it in the comment below. Let's see who, who wins. Who wins great prices? I, I don't know what you're gonna win, but you know, honor, honor would count, okay? Uh, so yeah, it wouldn't recognize my accent. Let's go back to this. So it would get stuck all the time. So I would start a video, read, and then it gets stuck and I need to start moving it around and go like this and go out of focus. And just, it wasn't, it wasn't the, it wasn't the best, okay? Also, I had to connect a lapel mic to the iOS device in order for it to pick up my voice. Because with the built-in mic, it would be too far and it sometimes wouldn't pick it up. So it didn't work for me, paid for it, it wasn't the best. So let's go into the big secret. But before I tell you the big secret, I want to make sure that you have the required hardware to make it work. So basically what you need is a standard teleprompter setup. Uh, basically it's a little screen that reflects Okay, it's a small screen that reflects uh, through a 45 degree angle mirror that is basically, that, that is the basic setup for most teleprompters. So I personally use one called Glide Gear uh, with a small seven inch monitor uh, that is basically an extension of my screen. Uh, I would recommend after having this setup, I would recommend having maybe a bigger screen than seven inch uh, but still works for me. I'm using it right now. I'm right now reading from this teleprompter at this moment. Yes, what I'm saying right now, it's from the teleprompter. Well, not every word because I don't like to script the whole video. I like to be a little bit more flow with it. So I recommend you use just uh, bullet points in general, unless you really have to go word by word. So having a bigger screen is good. Uh, you can also achieve this with an iPad if you connect it and use it, uh, it's called sidecar mode. And yeah, it will work as well. All right, so now let's go to the big secret that apparently no one knows about on YouTube or in the interwebs. But before that, this might be a great time to break the YouTube algorithm by giving me a like. So please, 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 just like, you know, I hate begging for likes. It's like, it's beneath me. It's beneath me, I know, I know. But, you know, apparently YouTube algorithm likes it. So if you think that this content is good, just doesn't cost you anything, just give it a like. Anyways, so now, without further delays, the big secret, drum rolls. It's Google Docs. Wait, what? What? What did he say? Google what? Yes, Google Docs. That's all you need. I know, <laughs> it's crazy. So hold on, Alan, but how Google Docs works with the teleprompter? What exactly are you talking about? By the way, it's not only Google Docs, you can also use Word for this or the equivalent uh, for Mac. Any of this type of documents, you can use it as a teleprompter. So let me show you how I do it and the little secrets that make it work much, much better. All right. So let's dive into this. Let's check it out. So you open a, a new Google Doc. Now just paste the text, whatever you want to say. Now in general, I don't like to put it word by word. I just put bullet points and I talk about it. So it gives me an outline of what I want to discuss. But regardless, even if you want to word by word, you can still do it with this. So this is pretty much word by word here. And um, so let's take a look. You just paste 
whatever is the text or the bullet points that you want. Now we're going to make it smaller from the top. There we go in the indent effect. Something like that. Why? Because when you look at the teleprompter, you don't want to start moving your eyes, so it has to be as thin as possible. Okay. Now this is too small to read in a small screen. So what you do is you first of all, this is what I like to do. I select everything and first under format. So you go to format and then text and I'm gonna do capitalization of everything. So everything is gonna be uppercase. Crazy! Okay, now I like to highlight it. So I personally like to put the whole thing in black and the letters in white. And now let's make it much, much bigger. Like blow it up, blow it up, make it big, big, big. So yes, it's gonna create a lot of pages. And it's gonna be much longer, but it's gonna be easier for you to read. And now on top of everything, I have it on 150 here. I put it up to 200, so it's really huge. So here we go. This is now my teleprompter, okay? And now I would move it to, I can just go like this and move it to the other screen, okay? So I'll, I'll leave it right now here, but basically I would move it to the other screen. And now I can just scroll with my with the mouse, just, you know, with any wheel mouse or I have the magic mouse with me. And I just scroll and I can look at you, look at the screen, and read best free teleprompter app if you are looking for the best teleprompter app look no further i have a little secret no one wants you to know and i will share that with you right now so you need to practice this a little bit but you can go up and down and that's all you need pretty simple that's all the secret you don't need to spend lots of crazy money on these apps uh, you do need a good setup, you do need the screen that I mentioned before, but that's all you need. Once you set it up, you take this document, put it there, and just moving with the magic mouse, or if you have a, a mouse that has a wheel. Simple! Hey, that's the idea, making things simple. If you enjoyed this video and it brought you any value, please comment below. I would love to know, you know, if you tried it, if you're using it, that also helps others. And um, maybe subscribe to the channel if you would like to get other tips just like this with other apps that we have in front of us all the time, but we don't really use it in ways that we could. And there you have it. Free best teleprompter app out there by far, no doubt. So if you want to create YouTube content, that's the easiest way to do it. Thank you for watching. My name is Alan Chamo. See you in the next video.